Hi, my name is John Boring, spelled just like it sounds. I'm going to welcome you to a series of online videos about interviewing candidates more effectively. In this video today, we will focus on the structure of an interview. All of these videos are brought to you by the website talenttron.com. A common problem I have seen around the world is hiring managers struggle to do an effective interview. First time I was asked to do an interview, I was terrified. I faked it. I bet that some of your people might be doing that today. When actually faced with doing an interview, most people lack structure for the interview. So let's examine five easy steps for conducting an effective interview. First step is interview preparation. Second step is building rapport with the candidate. The third step is asking your questions. The fourth step is ending the interview. And the fifth step is evaluating the candidate. Interview preparation is the first step and it is the one that is most often overlooked or completely skipped. Interview preparation starts with understanding the job description, the responsibilities of the position, the expectations that it has and how it fits in the organization. This is especially true if you're not the hiring manager. Determine which skills are most critical to success and create interview questions based on those same skills. Review the candidate's profile, resume, or CV for any red flags or areas to discuss in the interview. The goal of step two, building rapport, is to spend two to three minutes engaging the candidate so that you get a better quality of information. The best way to get this is to ask open-ended questions. Some examples might be, over the last few years, what are you most proud of having accomplished? Or maybe another would be, in researching our company, what have you learned? If you insist on starting with tell me about yourself, use follow-up questions, create a conversation out of this, or you risk losing control of the interview right at the beginning. The goal of step three it's called asking your questions, is to elicit information about the candidate. This is the part that interviewers focus on the most. The primary tool in this step is the behavioral interview question, which is tied to a required skill or competency. For a free list of these, visit talenttron.com. After asking a behavioral interview question, give the candidate a chance to respond with a complete behavioral answer. A complete behavioral answer includes three parts. The problem they faced, the actions taken to resolve the problem, and the results that were achieved. When you persist getting the answers to these three questions, you will have a complete behavioral answer. Rarely will a candidate answer all of these right up front without you having to dig a little deeper. Remember, a complete behavioral answer includes the problem faced, the actions taken, and the results achieved. Ideally, this part of an interview feels much more like a conversation than an interrogation or an inquisition. Now, the goal of step four, ending the interview, is to spend a few minutes letting the candidate make sure they have answers to their questions. Ways to turn this over to the candidate might include something as simple as asking, do you have any questions for me? What did we not discuss today that you think we should have covered? Might be another way to do this. Or you could try, what are you proud of that we did not talk about today? Remember to allow time for their questions. This is a sign of respect. And if they have no questions, this should be a concern for you. They might not be that interested. The goal of step five is to evaluate the candidate. Having an opinion about a candidate is why you were asked to interview in the first place. Remember that the job is not finished until the paperwork's done. Interviewing effectively means documenting that opinion in the form of an evaluation. Trust your gut instincts, but back it up with specifics. Always try to remain objective and base your ratings on specific examples and facts, but state your opinion. In conclusion, you can have an effective interview and stay in control of this interview by following these five easy steps. Remember to visit Talentron.com for lots of help in interviewing more effectively. Happy hiring!